Hello, everyone, and welcome to this edition of Integrity Talks. I'm Alan Lyle. This is Gene Williams, and today's topic, it's, it's time, time to, to deploy. deploy. <laughs> or is it really? This has been a topic that's been hot on the adjuster boards lately. It, it has been. And so I got to ask you this, Alan. Should we be proactive or should we be reactive? Well, if it's, uh, hmm. We should be proactive, mm -hmm. but if someone crosses me the wrong way, <laughs> I tend to be reactive. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, this time last uh, week uh, around Monday, mm -hmm. uh, when Dorian first uh, came on the radar screen, we were being very proactive and we were That's reaching right. out to all of our strategic partners and letting them know we had resources available. Um, and a lot of the responses from that was, you know, we're not really paying any attention and it's, we don't believe it's going to do anything. And boy, that changed by Wednesday of last yes, week, did. didn't it? So, yes, it did. um, but a lot of the things that we're seeing is the the fact that folks are getting staged and sent into uh, either harm's way or even enduring expenses mm -hmm. that are unnecessary. Um, how does how, how does that make you oh, feel coming from the field? How would you feel if you got ticks sent? me off? Ticks me off. Uh, and, and I've been in that situation before, where they, you know, there's a storm coming. We need you there. Well, first of all, let's think about this. And, and adjusters, you can feel my pain here. You cannot truthfully predict the path of a hurricane. Right. And I'm just sitting down there maybe a week. Right. I'm paying for the hotel room. Right. I'm paying for, for my food, my, my expenses. Right. And then you get that call, oh, this path has changed. We don't need you now. That's right. So one of the ways that we want to be proactive, and, and obviously coming from the business side of this and in supporting our, our strategic partners, is we want to be proactive mm -hmm. and we want to be able to show that we have the resources available. But with today's innovation, um, we'll do a webinar-based orientation to show what the client needs are in their policies. Have, have you ever done an orientation? I, I've on been webinar? part of them before. Uh, never on the setup side, but I've, I know that people are doing that now, and I think that's a great idea. Yeah. So one of the ways that we can to, can do that then is through maybe like Zoom meeting and we can bring on our adjusters and let them know what the client's needs are and, and how their policy holders are going to be affected with coverage in that area. You know, this storm is, is still a very dangerous storm. As of today, it's, it can, it's coming on and producing tornadoes in South Carolina. Dangerous, but it's also unpredictable. Correct, correct. So one of the ways that we want to, to continue to support not only our, our strategic partners, but also protect our brand with our independent adjusters is through this kind of innovation where rather than send you into an area, put you in harm's way, right. have you endure expenses, we're not going to deploy you to that area until we know that you have claims that we can assign you. We got claims in hand, we're going to give them to you, now go. And that's, that's been, again, a big topic of discussion on some of the adjuster boards, the social media, mm -hmm. where they're, they're even warning some of the newer guys, don't go anywhere and you've got, until you've got claims in your hand. And that's, that's what we want to do. That's correct. You know, the, the, the past few storms, if you remember Florence and even Michael, mm -hmm. um, there were so many people that were staged and sent into areas and then got sent home. This, there, these storms have just been unique over the past couple of years where Florence hit an area. Uh, there wasn't a lot of flood policies in effect in, in uh, the, the path of Florence. So um, I remember sitting in the FEMA meeting where 500 people were asking, where are the claims? Right. There's not a lot of policies in force. Same thing with Michael. Uh, folks got deployed to Michael and then got sent home because it hit in such a densely populated area. So here we are again facing a unique situation where we've been just waiting and waiting and waiting to see what Dorian's going to do. But uh, we're, we're here to support our policyholders, our, our, our clients, and uh, we certainly pray for those folks that are still in harm's way with Dorian, which is still a very dangerous and unpredictable storm. And of course, we know that you're in the field, so you may have your own ideas, your own opinions, your own advice. Some suggestions, we want to hear from you, and it's easy to contact us. Here's our contact information on the screen right now. Well, thanks for joining us on this edition of Integrity Talks. I'm Gene Williams, along with Alan Lyle, and we'll see you next time.